Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope you're having a really beautiful Friday evening or afternoon, whatever time it is where you are listening to this. And also the reading I'm going to be channeling in this video is technically timeless. So regardless of when you come across this video, if you feel drawn to it, most likely that is your intuition speaking to you, pulling you to this video because there is some kind of message here for you. And I hope that I can play a role in delivering that message to you today. And also in simply reconnecting you with your own intuition, because I always say this, but my only goal through these videos, especially my readings, is to reconnect you with the truth of your soul, what your intuition, your inner voice is already speaking to you. So I don't feel this reading will be for everyone. This is not a collective reading. I do create twin flame collective readings that are meant to contain messages that will most likely apply to more of the Twin Flame Collective. So if you would like to listen to these Twin Flame readings, I do channel them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They are premiered live here on this channel. So if you are a Twin Flame on this journey, be sure to subscribe so you get updated whenever I post new content. And also, if you would like more of a general Twin Flame collective updates, you can feel free, if you feel guided, to explore the Twin Flame reading I actually posted earlier in the day. So why am I getting on to channel this reading? Because I did already channel a much more in-depth Twin Flame Collective reading earlier, and you guys know I don't usually come back on with more messages in the same day, but there's something about this energy going on that's really unique and something I feel we need to have a conversation about especially with the Divine Feminine Collective. So I feel the reading I'm channeling right now will resonate most with the Divine Feminine. I may actually be posting a few of these kind of shorter reading videos today because I actually feel a few different messages coming through for a few different segments of the collective so you may want to explore those other videos as well and just go where you're feeling guided and take whatever connects with you now the first card to come out here is the hostilities card in the reverse position this card being reversed almost has the feeling of being turned inward and i hear a divine feminine saying I feel like the walls are caving in on me or I feel like I am caving in on myself. I see this visual and I'm getting kind of emotional just channeling this, which tells me that this divine feminine is most likely feeling a lot of emotion around this, this energetic experience, but I'm seeing this visual of a building and all the walls are caving in and I hear her saying, I thought that I was made of stronger stuff than this or if it's about a relationship or connection specifically, it's almost as though in this metaphor, the house is like this dream house, this vision that this divine feminine created together with her divine masculine counterpart but now it feels like all of the walls are caving in, like I thought we had a stronger foundation than this. Again, this could be something she's feeling internally about herself, or this could be something projected externally, a feeling she's having about this connection. So if that is resonating with you, then I feel you could be part of this group that I am channeling here, that I'm speaking to here. 
And I hope I can help you get some clarity about what you're feeling right now. So why is this divine feminine feeling as though the walls are caving in on her? Happy family in the upright position. This is very much a card of stability, a card of reunion energy. So this could be speaking to a divine feminine who is, I'm hearing longing for this reconnection, this reunion, or this stability that she doesn't feel like she currently has attained to or has. Again, this could be internal stability that she's longing for wanting to i heard feel more emotionally or mentally stable right now but this could also be manifested external stability with her divine masculine and i had to pause because i had this instantaneous download and the message was if you're experiencing one or the other or both know that in a sense they are actually the same thing. They are mirrored because so often on this twin flame path, what we feel we are longing for externally is actually mere reflecting something that we are trying to seek outside of ourselves because it is actually something we need to give to ourselves or find within ourselves. It's the beauty and the pain of this twin flame journey tangled up together. The pain in the fact that very often there is a lot of turmoil that we experience as we see so dramatically these internal wounds and instabilities reflected externally through such a a real-time kind of in-our-face connection or relationship, but then the beauty is that it can also act as a portal through which we can heal in the most profound and radical exponential kinds of ways through which we can shift into these heights of connection and spiritual connectedness, not just with our twin as we think of them separately, but first and foremost, connection with our self, with our higher self and with the divine. But again, it's like this, this pain and this beauty mingled together. And I feel right now this divine feminine I'm channeling is really getting the pain side of that equation. In the Rumi Oracle, sometimes we pull a card and this specific card that comes out has a poem about a rose and whenever this card does come out i take it to apply to the twin flame connection being like that rose where in reaching out for it to grasp a hold of it to make it something tangible and real we often feel so much pain it's like we long to grasp at this beauty but then in the process we get the thorns of this connection and yet at the same time, we appreciate the beauty because we know that the beauty could not exist without the pain, if that makes sense. I hope that comes through to someone. The card healer of the ages came out here in the upright position as well. And the image on this card is a man with his arms outspread, his arms wide open, and I feel this could signify a few different things for different people. For some divine feminines, I'm getting that this is a message of confirmation from your masculine. In spite of this pain you are experiencing, this confusion, or I heard stagnancy, it could just feel like things are stuck. I keep hearing a divine feminine all day. I've been hearing a feminine in our collective say, I am terrified that I'm in love with a ghost, meaning I'm scared that divine masculine, the version of you that I love is dead or no longer exists or doesn't exist. 
in the sense that in most cases this won't be literal although some of you do have twin flames who are in spirit form who have passed on but for most of you your twin flame physical counterpart is still living and breathing but there is this fear that the person you are in love with is some kind of an illusion however this card healer of the ages uprights as well as door to personal healing and happiness which also came out here in the upright position i'm hearing i feel this sensation by the way energetically as though someone is just wrapping me up in like the warmest hug and i feel that this could be speaking to something you divine feminine feel like you need right now you just need to in a sense, wrap yourself in a warm hug. What I just see someone like wrapping themselves in a robe or a warm blanket or taking a hot bath or participating in some kind of warming self-care. Let me know if that connects with someone, but that also might be just indicating something that you need. And alternatively, this could be something energetically that your masculine is sending to you. So if you get kind of this sensation of goosebumps or warmth or a feeling as though someone's kind of wrapping their arms around you at this time, know that this could be your divine masculine's higher self energetically coming in to offer you that warmth, that energetic embrace. And what that signal energetically is trying to say to you divine feminine is with door to personal healing and happiness up a right beautiful divine feminine i know that you are in pain and your pain is so valid and you are so seen and so supported in that pain you are embraced through that pain even in those moments when you feel so alone a kind of loneliness that at times seems to penetrate to the very core of your soul. Divine Feminine, know that you are not as alone as your ego minds would have you to believe that you are. And also take this as a sign of confirmation that not only is your masculine healing and shifting in profound and beautiful ways, but so are you. And I'm saying that because I do feel that the divine feminine I am tapping into right now is someone who also experiences a lot of self-judgments and I feel that that's actually where some of this pain is coming from. It's coming from this pattern of self-judgment. I also heard self-abandonment through numbing or coping mechanisms. So there could be a divine feminine who at times uses things to numb these feelings of pain, these feelings of sadness, anything from food to mindless media to, to some kind of addiction, an emotional addiction or a physical addiction. And I heard spirit come in here to say, beautiful divine feminine, learn the distinction between numbing and a mechanism for numbing or hiding from your pain the distinction between that and self-love because it's all in the purpose and the approach and not in the thing itself most of the time and what i mean by that is the same thing can be used at times for both coping in a destructive or numbing way or in nurturing and offering yourself self-love and self-care so just in one small example food can be something that we use for pleasure for enjoyments to enjoy ourselves our life the experience of eating and it can be actually an act of self-care and self-nurturing but also food approached in a different way and with a different mindset can be a way to numb ourselves to try and hide from our own pain or block out our own pain so someone here is just being really gently guided to to 
not necessarily look at the thing itself again, whether it's a certain way of eating or a certain form of social media or, or just media consumption, whatever it is to not look at that thing as good or bad in itself, but to really take care in the mindset with which we are approaching these things and to first really address the roots of how we are feeling to nurture ourselves from the root and then move into those acts of self-love, self-care and self-nurturing as we're feeling guided. And as I was speaking there, the goddess of the moon came out in the reverse position. So this is really just confirming to me that I am tapping into a divine feminine here who has been feeling just a little bit out of sorts. I heard powerless. I heard victim mentality. So there could be a divine feminine who is in pain because she feels as though she has been victimized by someone, some connection or some situation. And this is causing her to really sit in this space of hurt and of victimhood and of blame. This won't be for everyone, not even for everyone who resonates with this reading. This could just be for one or two people, but if this is for you, I do want to see if I can channel a message for you here. This card reversed reveals blocked intuition, an inner disconnect, or a sense of living in the dark. It's possible that extreme worry and discontent are the obstacles to the inner peace and wisdom you seek. So I'm going to pull a few more cards of clarification for whoever this is for. By the way, the words mountain and research came out from the love word scramble. So with the word research, I saw someone either as a student or doing some form of research for their work, their job, their education. With the word mountain, I heard someone may live near a mountain, near some kind of a mountainous landscape, or could at times take a trip to a mountainous landscape of some sort, but also this could be metaphoric. This could represent there being some kind of mountain within yourself that I hear that you're carrying it, but you were meant to pass over it. So take that if it connects with you. There's kind of that saying that sometimes we carry the mountains that we are meant to climb, to trek over. And I feel as though for this divine feminine, I also hear the message, you could be carrying mountains that aren't even yours. So let's see if we can get some cards of clarification for this. What mountain is this divine feminine carrying that isn't even hers? I do see a family in my mind's eyes, so there could be something about an inner child wound or a family situation coming out here. The word stove came out and I got that, that saying about needing to touch a stove to know that it's hot and I actually really heard this Divine Feminine's guides coming in to say, why do you keep touching the hot stove? Why do you keep intentionally placing your beautiful self around people or in situations that you know are going to cause you pain? You don't have to touch the stove. I know this is going to be just for one or two people, but there's this message here of caring for yourself, of valuing yourself enough not to feel the need to place yourself in situations or conversations or environments, either socially or literally, that cause you feelings of pain. And also there's that message of pain being an indicator, pain trying to tell you something rather than judging your pain with this envy card upright this speaks to lack to feelings of dissatisfaction when you feel pain rather than trying to numb it or judge it 
just like physical pain is symptomatic, it tells us often about things that could be imbalanced in our physical body. Divine Feminine, remember your emotional pain can be an indicator of something within yourself or your life energetically that is asking for your beautiful time, care, energy, and attention to shift that dynamic, or in some cases, to solidify, stabilize, or find something within yourself to give yourself something that potentially you had been seeking externally and continuing to feel pain in that that's that quest externally for something that you were really being guided to find within yourself. And I know I'm speaking a little bit in abstract terms here, but I also know this is going to reach whoever needs to hear it. I'm going to pull a star seed oracle card for you as well. Whatever beautiful divine feminine I'm speaking to here. Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. Wow, how appropriate this card is. I'm also feeling really guided to tell you, Divine Feminine, if you're connecting with this message tonight or today, whatever time it is where you are, you may find it beneficial to close your eyes and ask yourself or your inner child, what do you need from me? Or to look in the mirror and say to yourself, what do you need from me right now? Or what are you asking from me right now? This can be a really powerful tool of self-reconnection and just see what comes up for you. But I'm also going to read a little bit from this Water Your Garden card. Earth is a seasonal planet and as such, you're a seasonal being, cyclic. You can't be on and in full bloom, month after month, day after day after day. You're strongly being called to put on the brakes, rest, and refuel, to take a moment to restock and replenish and slow right down. How are you being called to put on the brakes? to rest, restore, and rejuvenate. Look after your precious body and minds. Beautiful, beautiful message. I actually feel like that is such a beautiful place to close this short reading. This was really just a message of guidance for whatever Divine Feminine needed this little reminder tonight. Also, if you would like to utilize these sound therapy tools that I've created, these can be really powerful for assisting you, beautiful Divine Feminine, in this inner journey of deepening your levels of self-love by caring for yourself, by clearing out any negative vibrations or limiting beliefs that tend to get stuck in our aura and weigh down our vibrations. Subliminals are a really powerful tool for really uprooting these negative energies and thoughts that become really deeply stored in our subconscious. And they can really assist us in refueling ourselves energetically, re empowering ourselves. So, I have created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life on my website, soundandsoulful.com. So, as you can see on the screen, I am just showing you a little bit from my site. This is a screen recording, just showing you how you can navigate around and select whichever subliminal meditations resonate most with you at this time. Now, if you are connecting with this reading, I would most highly recommend for you my subliminal for seven chakra energy clearing. This is one I personally use on my morning meditation playlist every single day. And I find that just one listen meditating with this really helps me to fully cleanse and clear out and magnetize my own energy field. So the link to that particular subliminal 
will be for you in the pinned comment and description box under this video. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day and evening. As this reading said, and as what came through this reading was telling us as a Divine Feminine Collective, be sure to take extra care of yourself right now. Be so, so gentle and forgiving to yourself, meaning willing to release anything that is weighing you down, causing you pain, or is not meant for you because you are worthy of your own beautiful love, care, and attention. So have a beautiful rest of your nights and I will talk to you again in the next reading.